Hi guys, today we will discuss about how to write a program to initialize your 8255. So this 8255 is a parallel communication interface and this 8255 we are going to have a 3 different port, port A, port B and port C and this port C is divided into 2, one is called as port C upper, other is called as port C lower. And each port going to carry how many bit information is the 8 bit information. So your port A and port B going to each going to carry 8 bit and your port C this 8 bit is divided into 2 4 bit. This 8 bit is divided into 2 4 bit that is this divided into port C lower as well as the port C upper. And this 8 to 5 5 going to have a two different type modes. One will called as BSR mode, bit set, reset mode. The other mode is called as input and output mode. So this input and output mode is further divided into three types. One is called as mode 0, mode 0. So mode 0 will called as simple input and output mode. We will call this mode 0 as simple input and output mode. And we have mode 1 and this mode is called as input and output mode with handshake with handshake with handshake and we have mode 2 and this is called as bidirectional data transfer bidirectional bidirectional data transfer so in your mode 0, that is simple input and output mode, all the three ports, that is your port A and B and C can act as the input and output port. In mode 1, uh, it is called as input and output with handshaking. So in this mode, in mode 1, your either your A, port A and port B can act as the input and output mode. And your port C, it is utilized to handshake your signal. In previous mode 0, all the three ports can able to act as an input and output mode. But in your mode 1, what happened? Either your port A or port B can act as an input and output and your C going to act as a handshaking signal. Similar for mode 2, it is a bidirectional data transfer now. So your port A and port B can act as input and output simultaneously and as well as your port C can act as a handshaking signal. So this is about your um, IO modes. So you can see this is the control board register of your IO mode. So it is a 8 bit mode. So D0 to D7 and this D7 going to represent always whether it is belongs to IO mode or BSR mode. So whenever the D7 is 1 now it is represent it is a IO mode. It is a IO mode. If it is 0 now it is a BSR mode. So in your BR, BSR mode what happens only we utilize your port C. In BSR mode we will have only to reach a set or reset your port C mode. So since it is a 8 bit. So you will not in BSR mode we will not use port A and port B only a port C will be used to set or reset the particular 8 bit port C. So D7 going to represent whether it is IO or BSR mode. Next we have D6 and D5. This D6 and D5 going to represent a more selection more selection for group A. Mode selection for group A. Mode selection for group A. So the, uh, under this group A, what are the ports we will have? One is called as port B, other is called as port C upper. Okay, so since it is a 2 bit now, how many combinations you will get? 4 different combinations 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So 0, 0 now will call this is as mode 0, 0, 1 now mode 2. 1, 0 or 1, 1, it is belongs to mode 2. And next D4. D4 going to represent uh, whether your port A should act as the input and output. Okay. So whenever you are representing as 1. Okay. Whenever you are representing as 1 now, it is the particular port going to act as the input port. If it is 0 now, that particular port going to act as the output. So if D4 represent as 1 now, input or if it is 0 now, it will be output. The same D3 going to tell you your port C upper going to act as the 
input output mode next your d2 going to tell you more selection for group b more selection for group b so b group b belongs to what are the port port b as well as your port c lower so your d1 going to tell you and this uh, port d2 that is more selection i told you for group b no since it is a one bit now you have two different combination either zero or one so zero na mode zero one na it is belongs to mode one that is input and output with and shaking so your d1 going to tell you whether your port b going to act as an input and output similarly your d not port c lower going to act as an input and output with this we will move to how to uh, initialize your 8255 okay we will write a program how to you we need to initialize your 8255 so write a program to initialize your 8255 in the configuration given below so your port a going to act as a output with handshaking and port b input with handshake and port c upper will going to act as output and port c lower as input and let they gave the address for control word register of 8255 is 23 so this h going to represent it is in hexadecimal value okay well. so they gave you a control word register of 8255 is 23 so first first you have to find out your 8255 is belongs to bsr mode or your io mode the first thing you have to find out whether it is belongs to bsr mode io mode as i told you this bsr mode going to use only a port c so it will not have your port a or port b but in the given question they have all your three ports port a port b and port c so this is not belongs to your bsr mode so the given configuration is only supported for your IVO mode first you have to find out from the question whether it is a BSR mode or IVO mode belongs to 8 to 5 5 so only if they gave a port C now it is your BSR mode since they gave all the three ports so it is belongs to input and output mode so you find out it is belongs to your IVO mode so next you try write the control word register of your IVO mode So you have D not to D7. D not D1 D2 D3 D4 D5 D6 and D7. okay so now we'll move to d7 okay so this d7 i told you we are going to tell you whether it is bsr or ivo mode since we have find out it is ivo mode so a d7 should be one so one now it is represent your d7 it is ivo mode zero now bsr mode so your d7 should be one next we move to d6 to d5 so d6 and your d5 going to tell you group a mode selection group a mode selection so 0 0 so 2 bit now you have 4 different combinations 0 0 0 1 1 0 or 1 1 so 0 0 now it is belongs to mode 0 0 1 now mode 1 1 0 or 1 1 now mode 2 so you have to find out you find out it is ivo mode now you have to find out inside this ivo mode you have 3 different mode now 0 1 and 2 you have to find out it is belongs to whether mode 0 or 1 and 2 so how can you can able to find out see here in your question you they gave a word which is called as handshake okay so handshake now will get the mode 1 so this ivo mode is belongs to your mode 1 so the d6 and d5 mode 1 now what is the value it will be 0 1 the d6 and d5 will be 0 1 and your d4 d4 going to represent your Vote a going to act as a input or output. Vote a going to act as a input or output. So if it is 1 I going to represent it is a input mode. 0 no output. So what they gave ma? It they gave us port a output. So port a output now your d4 should represent as 0. Ok. And now we will move to your d3. Your d3 going to tell your port c upper 
So you both see up pair is output. So output now it is 0. Your D3 will be 0. Now you move to D2. D2 going to tell your group mode selection for group B. So mode selection for group B is either 0 or 1. 0 on the chana it is mode 0. If it is 1 now it is belongs to mode 1. Okay ma. So D2. So it is belongs to mode 1. I wo mode what are the three different modes? 0, 1 and 2. So it is a mode 1. So your D2 should be represented as 1. And your D1 going to tell your port B. Whether going to act as an input and output. So the in the question they gave your port B as input. So input now your D1 should represent as 1. And your D0 port C lower. So D0 lower now it is represented as input. Input now it should be 1. So this is the control word value we have found out. So 1 0 1 0 0 triple 1. So it is in your binary now you have to convert as hexadecimal. So convert as hexadecimal. Mark. So your value will be 0 1 0 0 triple 1. So 0 triple 1 your value will be for 0 triple 1. Convert as 4 4 bit. Mark. Convert 4 4 binary bit to your hexadecimal. So 0 triple 1. 0 triple 1 your value will be 7. And 1 0 1 0 your value will be A. It is 10. Okay. Wa? So 10 na your uh, hexadecimal value will be A. So your value uh, you are find out your value by given configuration in the question as A7. So now you have a value. So this value add to load inside your port. Okay. You find out what will be the value I need to put it in your particular port to represent all this configuration. Now you uh, now you have to write the program to initialize your A255. So the instruction for that. Okay, what will be the instruction? The instruction will be we have an instruction which is called as out. Okay, so this out is used to write the going to write to a output port that is the content of your AX or AL okay the content of your AX or AL, AL will be transferred to the port after the execution of this instruction okay wa? the content okay wa? the content which is stored in your AX or AL will be transferred to the port after the execution of this instruction so out port address your port address I'll write the mnemonics for this out any port address comma ax or al so the content which is stored in your al will be moved to my port address will be moved to my port address now we'll write the instruction for the given configuration so inside this al what is the value you have to store uh, you have to store the value which is called as a7 so you have to write your first line move move al comma a7 write it as h it is hexadecimal value to represent it is hexadecimal i'm writing as h so the content okay well, that is the data of a7 will be copied to my al register so inside my al what is the value you have a7 so this a7 you have to move to the port address so the instruction will be out what is the port address which is given in the question? So it is 23. So your address will be 23. 23 comma. Where you store this A7? In your AL register. Okay. Well. So this is the hub. This is the way you have to write the program to initialize your A255. So move AL comma A7. So this A7 you have been find out by using the given configuration which is given in the question. So find out whether it is a BSR or IO mode. So once you find out it is IO mode, you know your control word register, assign the control word register and find out the data. Once you find out the data, move to that in your AL register. From the AL register, transfer your data to your port after the execution of this instruction. Thank you.